What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can prepare to have the best experience possible for the Operation Skyfire live event, including how to prepare yourself so you can actually log in and participate in the event, just so you know you don't miss it or anything and you get to make it your own unique experience. Now, before we go through all that, however, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a mention that, as usual, I will be posting my perspective of the live event here on YouTube so that you can experience it no matter when you want or where you are just in case you know you may be busy during this time you may be at like summer school I, I mean wait school is probably already started or something you know something on a Sunday you might be busy and just not able to attend I'm trying to get my best recording here my 1440p 60 FPS quality for you guys just so you can experience it without even having to worry about missing the event now to start us off, make sure you equip the cosmetics that you want to be wearing when you experience the live event, as this is a one-time showing. It's not like the Rift Tour, where we had like five different showings, it's just the one time on September 12th at 4pm Eastern Time, so you'll want to make sure you have your favorite stuff equipped just to make it a more memorable experience. And as of right now, I have no clue if Raps will modify anything like they did during the Rift Tour live event, but just to be on the safe side, I'd recommend autos also like, you know, selecting the wrap you want to go with your cosmetics, just have that little bit of an added personal touch in case they do end up using wraps during the event because you never know what goes down during these things and Epic Games keeps innovating and making stuff cooler for us to experience. Now, if we're actually attending the live event, it will take place in under 24 hours, as you guys heard earlier, September 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and I wouldn't recommend logging in exactly at 4 p.m. because, well, that's right when the live event starts. You're not going to be able to queue up for anything. What I recommend is to log in for, like, the safest, safest chance of getting to the live event. Log in at least an hour and a half beforehand. You could try risking it by going an hour beforehand, but anything from the 30 minute before to the starting is a risky territory. The reason why is because half an hour before the live event starts, they actually activate the playlist, and while you may, if you're in there early, you may have to sit there and wait around in a lobby not being able to shoot or anything for half an hour, but it gives you the best chance of actually, you know, experiencing the live event, because if you go in the last five minutes, there's a chance server capacity is maxed out, and you just, you know, can't do anything about it. You're just screwed, you're gonna have to watch like a YouTube version of it, my channel probably, or just something along those lines. So make sure that you get in at least an hour and a half beforehand just to be safe You know you can play some matches before but just to be safe Make sure you're in there early just so when the playlist goes live you can queue up for it now, other than this, it has been reported that you'll be able to attend with up to 15 other people in your party for a total of 16 people. So if you have a giant group of friends you want to play with, you'll all be able to queue up and play with each other. Now, however, I have had this issue during the Rift Tour live event, and I'm here to provide a solution just in case it happens to you guys. There is a chance of an error when trying to matchmake for the game mode, the event LTM, that type of thing, and it's just kind of like, oh hey, an error occurred while matchmaking, uh, try again. And if you try again, you'll get the error, and if you try again, you'll get the error. My recommendation for this is to simply have every single person in your party, everyone, each individual person, go into either save the world, either restart their game, or queue up for a match of creative. Now, most likely you're not going to be able to do the creative part because usually they disable every other LTM because hey live event time so your main options are going to be either going into save the world or restarting the game and all this really does is updates all the stuff you need to put yourself in the mode now like I said the reason why everyone in your party is going to have to do it is because it doesn't tell you hey this person doesn't have the updated stuff it just tells you hey we don't know why you can't get in the mode try again so doing this you know m the safest option is obviously going into save the world and back to battle royale it just helps update the info for everyone in your party to get you in the mode. Now, with all that said, I hope this video was useful for those who may be brand new to Fortnite live events, such as my dad, who recently got into Fortnite because of the brand new Imposters game mode, and I simply put, can't wait to experience the live event with you guys, and I hope that we get some awesome, like, storyline teasers, some big reveals or whatever. So with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow during the live event. Peace out.